What is going on guys, Madmo Resh here, and today I have a special video for you guys because today we are going to be doing a Madden Mobile 17 wish list. Now this is a um, list compiled of 10 things that I have specifically chosen that are my preferences on my wish list for Madden Mobile 17. You guys might have a different list than me, but you know this is my list and this list is also in no specific order. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So the first thing and the, one of the most important things I have on this list is a scramble button. Now this has been talked about since the beginning of Madden Mobile 16 to have. It's like, I don't, if some of you guys haven't heard of it, it's a button that allows you as the QB to scramble out of the pocket um, a lot faster than it allows you right now and it allows you to basically um, do a QB run that's not a designed QB run so it's a pretty pretty good um, design that could be implemented into Madden Mobile 17 and um, I hope it does so yeah that's my first one my second one is no servers now no servers is I liked it a lot in Madden Mobile 15, and I mean, in Madden Mobile 16, we have three servers, server one, two, and three. They're kind of imaginary. I mean, they don't, they're not really servers. It's just what we've, and we, um, us in the community have made up, and it kind of has um, halted a lot of giveaways that we can do as Madden Mobile, YouTube, Madden Mobile YouTubers and also coin selling. It's also halted that. I just think that it was a lot easier in Madden Mobile um, 15 just to do a lot other things with no servers and everything and um, also if um, now let's move on to number three and so number three is a trade block which is basically how you can trade players from one team to like your friends team you can um, send let's say you have a golden ticket Bo Jackson you can send him to your friends team while your friend sends you a um, the uh, Christmas Bo Jackson. It's basically like swapping players, and it's really beneficial if you're doing like a um, if you just if you have a player that somebody else wants, and you guys can just swap them. I like it a lot. It's in the console. I mean, it does pose some um, difficulties with um, people abusing the trade block, but you know, I think it could be very beneficial to the Madden Mobile um game and it could help us a lot and grow from what um, a mobile game to actually an elite really elite mobile game so another um, number four I have on this list is um, discard packs which is basically you know how you open um, your pro pack and then you just get absolute shit and you just want to you know throw it in the trash you just want to discard it for like mint like a little bit of coins and you don't want to have to do that by yourself like individually put the players well in this instance you can press the discard button which would um then allow you to press um yes or no if you want to discard and it would just basically help oh it would clear your binder space like it would easily clear binder space it would make sure that all those um bronze players you have you don't need to have them anymore you could just discard that pack if it's like a 75 overall gold and terrible silver silvers and bronze players you could discard that pack and you could just do away with it and not even have to worry about that pack so number five on my list is elite player to trophy set which would be probably um 10 maybe like five to ten elite players for about 15 trophies and I've thought about this a lot. Now, I thought about this in Madden Mobile 17 and Madden Mobile 16. Now, since we've gotten down to like the um the very end of Madden Mobile, I have so many like 85 to 90 overall elite players that are worth nothing and I don't really want to sell them. I I just put them up for like 10k and hope they sell, but I would love to put them in the in the um trophy sets. And get about 15 trophies out of it. Hopefully get some elites or something. Which that would be something that would be awesome to um, put into Madden Mobile. Now my number 6 is like... Um, what's the, this is they, they have this in FIFA and all that stuff. It's called the lightning round of packs I guess. That's what I'm calling it. 
So basically what it is, it's like um, during Black Friday, Christmas, and all that stuff, they have like, they have packs that are up for about maybe um, an hour or so that um, you can get on and then buy as many as you want. Not as many, but like maybe like five or something. And they also have a certain, they also have a pack that has like 10,000 for the whole game. And you can buy as many as you want um, until those 10,000 packs are gone, which that's a really innovative way to um, make the people in the game spend money. And it's also a really cool way just to um, add a new part of pack to the game. And it's really just a really innovative thing that we can add to Madden Mobile. So I'm hoping that they can add something like this to the game next year. And this number seven is a huge one that I want them to implement into Madden Mobile 17. It's Draft Champions. Now, I don't know how they could do this. They could either do this for a head-to-head, -head, which would be hard, or they could do it for seasons, which would be a lot easier, where you could just play the computer with your Draft Champions, which would be, it would be so much fun to have Draft Champions on Madden Mobile as a set game mode. It would be so much fun. I really hope they put that into Madden Mobile 17. Now, my number eight is large quick sales and not like large quick sales but like having more variety of large quick sales like in madden in madden 16 they have like the 7.5k the 750k the 75k the um they have so many more variety of things you can pull and i think it just got pretty boring by pulling the usual 1k 5k and all that which they need to implement more and more types of um large quick sale values into the game to make it just more fun. My number nine is um, actually it's like it's um it's implementing rookie legends to be more valuable next year, which I'm not I'm not too happy with the way they did it this year, which was um, making collectibles worth more. I liked it how they did it last year in Madden Mobile 15, where the rookie legends were so expensive, and they just gave you a thrill ride when you pulled one. It was amazing. I loved it how they did it in Madden Mobile 15. So I hope they can um, make rookie legends like more expensive, like they did last year. So in number 10, the final one, I want them to do a another permanent pack, like a pro pack that might be more expensive, maybe 15k, like in NBA 2K where it's a 15K and it gives you maybe two golds or something like that. And it's just it's just another permanent pack that spices up the game a little. So it's not only pro packs that you're ripping every single day when you've already opened up those promo packs. So yeah, that's my 10th one. It's just like another permanent pack that you can open that you know spices up the game a little so it's not only pro packs that you're ripping. So yeah, um guys, that was my um, 10, my Madden Mobile 17 wish list compiled of 10 wishes that I hope to come true. I, I hope for at least three to come true. And, um, yeah, so, um, thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment down below what your wishes are for Madden Mobile 17. Um, drop a like on this video if you want Draft Champions to be in Madden Mobile 17. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more Madden Mobile content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.